All right, we're back with the Barcelona Master League. So in the last episode, we had two offers accepted, one for Leroy Sané, the other one for Chiesa. And I asked you guys who we should sign. So five of you said we should sign Chiesa, and then six of you have said Sané. So it's not that big of a difference, but Sané did have more votes. And I feel like Chiesa would not be that big of an upgrade over Ansu, whereas Leroy Sané would. I mean, 98 speed and 94 acceleration, plus 82 finishing, and then 85, 89, 88 dribbling stats. I mean, that's just too good to pass up on. Plus, we are facing Bayern Munich in the Champions League round of 16, so this would be weakening them. So I think, I think we just have to sign up Leroy Sané. That is what we're going to do. And we still have 83.9 million to spend as well. So in this episode, we're going to get through the whole January transfer window. I think the only game we're going to play is this final one against Sevilla. We're going to sim the rest of these games and figure out transfers as we go, I think. But the first game is at Huesca, so we're going to sim this, of course. And we should, we should be beating Huesca. I am pretty confident in a win here and that is a that is a five no win my confidence is paid so five point lead ahead of real madrid in first all right there he is leroy signing the newest signing of this stacked stacked team and he looks very good so i'm very excited to see how he feels in game that that speed is just insane okay so we have some contracts to uh to renew like uh, pk we're gonna renew his contract and then we did have another offer that was accepted this time for thomas Partey cdm but honestly i don't think he'd be that big of an upgrade over uh over martinez i feel like that's the only thing we might do in this window is sign a new uh cdm to maybe be the backup to roger who's a little bit better than martinez i feel like Partey is not actually that much better but leroy sane is going into the starting lineup so what is his rating at uh uh, right wing forward okay 85 and then he's an 85 uh in when he's a right midfielder so that's an upgrade over Ansu Ansu's only a 79 there so he fits us he fits us better and his stats like I said are just crazy so I think I think that is a large upgrade plus we weakened Bayern Munich so I call that a win-win all right I'm throwing out offers for Angolo Conte just to see he's probably gonna get rejected but just to see and then Marquinhos would not be a bad option to play right back center back and and CDM so if we do an offer there's a high chance of success so this might actually go through for 17 million we could pick up Marquinhos for the rest of the season for the final season that would be ridiculous we're gonna see uh if those get accepted or not all right so Messi is we're gonna renew his contract he wants a million a week he wants 400,000 on top of that those are his terms I mean okay screw it I I mean, we're not gonna need that salary budget anyways so we'll just accept that we still have 1.4 million in the uh salary budget he's making a million a week at the age of how old is he he's 36 he actually at the age of 36 he's making a million a week all right so to Vigo next we're gonna hold off on Sané's at least starting debut because he's going down but I think we just go with uh this lineup this should be another win there's no reason we should lose this and this is gonna be a 5-3 win so that is an eight goal game but we still get the three points from Madrid one as well okay and Golo Conte has accepted and then Mark Quinos has accepted as well. Okay. Okay. This, this team is going to be so, just so ridiculously stacked. Um, Conte or Marquinhos? Marquinhos is cheaper and, and he's actually higher rated and younger. I mean, Conte is more of a, I mean, actually their, their stats are not all that different. I'm feeling Marquinhos. I am feeling Marquinhos. So we're going to sign him up to be our, our new backup CDM. Yeah, this this team is a little bit ridiculous. That might be it. That might be the last signing we make. Because otherwise, this team is just going to be completely OP if it, if it wasn't already. Hey, Marquinhos, our new backup CDM, is going into the team. We're going to the bench to be more I mean, be more precise. So our bench is going to be PK, Dest, Marquinhos, Savage, Foden, Sané, actually Ansu, and then Jesus, Depay. Yeah, this, this team this team is just a little, little bit insane. All right, we're facing uh, Leganes in the Copa del Rey. Should be another win and this is going to be a 1-0 win so i think that means we are through to the quarterfinals and we'll be playing getafe in the quarterfinals so atletico madrid still in the competition and then uh real madrid still also in the competition all right so i went ahead and sim the next three games it was a 4-0 win against granada a 5-2 win against alaves and then a 3-0 win against mallorca so i'm wondering if we should play the sevilla game or sim the next like another four games and play this getafe game in this episode which is the copa del rey quarterfinals and then in the next episode after that or after this one we play by Munich and Real Madrid back to back. I think I think that's the plan. So we're gonna sim Sevilla, finish the transfer window. Honestly, I'm not sure how much we're else we're gonna do because this team, if we make any more signings, this team is just beyond OP at this point. Like it's just it's just not even funny anymore. Okay, our scout has brought back some players that he thinks we should take a look at, and he's brought back Cristiano Ronaldo. We're not gonna sign Ronaldo, but Davinson Sanchez. If we go to his loan thing, it says there's a high chance of success, and it'll only be 11 million. So we're gonna we're gonna offer that because he would be he would be better than PK. PK is an 84, and he's going down. 
so he will be better than him so and they have accepted so i think davinson sanchez is going to be our last signing just further making this team even more insane so he will go to the bench over pk and that'll make the bench better in terms of rating and yeah this team this team is just this team is just is just a little bit too good for our own good like i said though final season the final half we're on the home stretch to ending this series why not just go all out that is that is exactly what we're doing honestly i think that's it i don't think we're making any more transfers so we're just going to skip transfer deadline day and this is the team that we're using for the rest of this series all right so after deadline day we beat Villarreal 4-0 beat Katafe 4-2 and then beat Elche 1-0 I don't think we'd ever lose a game simming if we simmed every game for the rest of the season I don't think we would lose once but we're at the Copa del Rey quarterfinals now against Katafe we are going to play this game and then probably end the episode after after that and the next episode is going to be huge round of 16 versus Bayern Munich and then Real Madrid after that so uh, that is going to be humongous as we get closer and closer to ending this series so after all all those games we now have an 11 point lead in first over Atletico Madrid and a 16 point lead over Real Madrid this team is just too good for our own good like we just don't ever lose simming games but we're going for the treble in this final season so this Copa del Rey quarterfinals is actually very important but we're going to stick with the fluid formation we're also going to give Sané our first time using him and then Marquinhos as well our first time using him and I think we just go with this lineup only change from the from the regular starting 11 is Marquinhos in for Rodri so our finishing has not been very good in recent episodes so we should be beating Getafe and then we should try and build some confidence in our finishing by putting like three or four past them in this game so that is what I'm looking for all right we went for the orange and yellow gradient kit that kit looks pretty nice too all these kits look so good in game so first time using Marquinhos and first time using Leroy Sané and I'm very curious to see how they feel in game so let's get this started let's get to the copa del rey semis really get closer to our to our goal of winning the treble this season all right we do have an early corner here messi will swing this in the only thing i did change was messi is a second striker now instead of a instead of an attacking midfielder we'll see if that see if that helps maybe i don't know how much the difference is gonna make but we'll see okay where is my defense that's gonna be out that's gonna be cleared by ter Stegen. Like, what just happened? Why is everyone so just out? That could have easily been the first goal for Getafe. All right, that's a good pass to Alfonso Davies. Up to Holland. He'll hold this up a little bit. He's going to go to Messi. Now, Leroy Sané's first touch. And that ball is not the best for Messi, but Leroy Sané's pace is just... It is just insane. We try and cross this in. That was a horrible cross by me, and that's going to be cleared. But you can see his pace. It's ridiculous. A good first touch into the box. Delict puts in a challenge. Okay, Getafe are actually starting this game off. A lot better than I thought. That's a good block by Marquinhos. Messi will not going to win that though. Like we should be dominating this game a little bit more. That's a shot. And that was not too far wide. Der Stegen, I guess he was confident that was going wide. All right, De Jong. Good pass into Holland. Now I need, I need some runners. Holland's holding this up. Gonna get that to Alfonso Davies. Now should we cross this in? Yes, we will. It's going to go up for a throw in. Sometimes I don't know if I should have a tiki tack on. Because sometimes I feel like it does mess us up. Sané, that was a heavy first touch. That... That touch just ruined that chance. If it was a soft touch, he could have had a clean shot, but that just made the shot completely just wide. All right, Neymar, gonna get that to Davies, get it right back to him. See Messi down the middle, that goes to Holland instead. I wanted that to go to Messi. Messi was actually making a run for once, and of course it goes to the wrong player. All right, Juan Bisaka, use your pace. That's gonna be a ball to Messi. Messi's gonna win that. Can we find Holland? That's gonna be a foul. All right, we're not gonna do anything weird. We're just gonna send this in, be a normal person for once. It's gonna curl this in with Messi. Not the worst. Davies gets up to that. It's just off target. All right, I'm gonna turn fluid formation off. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put Messi up to a second striker like that. Push De Jong up a little bit, and we're gonna try this. I feel like for some reason the fluid formation is just not working right now. All right, Neymar gets that. And all of a sudden, look at the room now. Look at the room these players are running into. It's beautiful. Sane. Sane. Can we get it to Messi? Oh, it's gonna go out. Are you kidding me? Okay, I don't even know what just happened. The ball was just played out. The guy was out muscling Sané, I guess. But you can see how it's more attacking this is. All four of our forwards are just staying forward. Maybe that's what we need to get these goals. I don't know how it's going to affect us defensively, but for right now, I think this is what we need. We go to De Jong, Messi, get it back to Marquinhos. Sané to Messi. Okay, the, 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 the interplay is a little bit better, though. All right, second half begins. Still nil. Okay, what is that pass from Marquinhos? What was that? Still nil, nil though. We should be having a few goals, at least. We should be beating this team a lot more easily. Hopefully, we can put in a much better performance in the uh, in the second half. Bring that to Neymar. Now, what do we do with this? You know, tell Neymar to go on a run. Davies is going to get that to Messi now. Messi, Holland, Sané. Okay, Holland's offside. Holland, why are you offside? Right, Messi, gonna play that to Leroy Sané. Can we see his pace explode? Yes, we can. We can see the pace. Leroy Sané, it's the 
hits the post and goes back to the keeper. How, like, unlucky can we get? I don't know what's happened to our finishing recently. We just can't score goals that we're used to scoring. It is so infuriating. Okay, Holland. We flip that to someone. Neymar going to get that to Messi. Messi's been, like, the only one actually finishing his chances recently. Flip that to Neymar. See Davies. See Davies. We're going to cross this in. Holland is up for that. So it'll go to Neymar. Neymar. Give that to Messi. Messi outside shot and that's going to be saved by the keeper. Right, corner swung in. Marquinhos gets up for that, but he's not going to reach it. Young with a little bit of room. There are just so many bodies in the box. Like, what do we do with this? I think Sané is offside. I think he is. No, he's not. And that is going to be just one back by them. Right, Sané is going to play that to Holland. Holland should be onside. On his left foot. Takes the shot. Okay, that was beautiful. Finally, we finished something. The pass, the touch, the finish, that was all perfect. It is about time. Leroy Sané outside of the boot pass. And then he just one touch on the left foot. Curls it around the keeper. All right, 61st minute. That is 1-1 for Barcelona. Now, are they going to tie this up immediately? That's a good shot. And that is awkward, but it is cleared by Gabriel. Yeah, they could have easily just tied. Okay, that pass from Neymar is not what I wanted. That is going to be back to De Jong. It's just so awkward. It's just so awkward. Davies does get out to Neymar and we survive. Can the awkwardness stop, please? Hey, everyone get back, please. Why is their attack looking so deadly? A good clearance by Wambi Saka, though. Now that's a cross. Davies should have that. He does. No one's going to be close to that guy, though. Going to be a cross in, and that's going to be straight to Ter Stegen. All right, 10 minutes left. We are holding on to a 1-0 lead for some reason. I don't know why we're not playing better. That's a bicycle kick that goes over the net. Yeah, we got to figure out a, a formation to work with this team. I feel like this one, I feel like the fluid formation, just something's not working. Gonna play that too. De Jong. Give that to Messi in the middle. Flip that back to De Jong. Neymar is making a pretty good run. Now, what do we do with this? We're going to cut inside. Going to cut inside. He's going to go for a shot himself, and that was over the net. We get this second just to confirm the win. That would be nice. Sané, you have room to run into. Now, he's not going to exactly beat everyone, and that is just a perfect side tackle. No, it's not, actually. That's a foul. Okay, for once, that is called a foul. That is actually very surprising. Right, we're going to give this to De Jong. Now, we're going to play this to Alfonso Davies. Get that to Neymar. Neymar cuts to the right. One more shot, and that is wide. Yeah, this finishing, if we want to win the Champions League, this finishing needs to improve. Like, we're facing Bayern Munich in the next episode. All right, Sané, once again, ball up to Holland. Is he onside? I think he is. I think he is onside, and Holland finishes that. Okay, we scored the two goals in this game the exact same way. Sané to Holland. All right, at least, at least someone is finishing in this game right now. Holland is. Just Sané picks this up. It's exactly the same pass, too, outside of the boot up to Holland, and then he just... One touch and finishes it same exact spot. All right, subs are on last three minutes. This game is over. We have we have made it to the Copa del Rey semis. So that is a good thing. That's our, our quest for the treble is further, further, uh, further gained ground upon. I feel like we might go back to our old 4-3-3. That one worked the best, I think. I think the only change we could make is maybe just instead of Milinkovic Savic, we're, we could play Messi as a attacking mid in that 4-3-3. But that's what we're going to do against Bayern Munich. That's the most familiar to us, the most formation that has consistently worked through the first three seasons. So I think that is the best way to go forward. Here's Messi. Going to fly that to Milinkovic Savic. Going to give that to Davies. No one's in the box, though. If we can get a third, that would be the cherry on top. Messi tries to go around one. Loses it, and that's going to be full time. So a very unconvincing 2-0 win from my perspective. But that is a 2-0 win, and we're through to the Copa del Rey semis. All right, Real Madrid lose to Athletic Bilbao. So Real Madrid are out. So it's Bilbao, Sevilla, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid. I think we'll be facing Bilbao. No, we're facing Atletico Madrid in the semifinals. And they just beat us pretty well in the previous episode, or like the one before that, maybe. So that's, I bet that's not going to be an easy matchup. All right, Neymar is injured, which uh, that sucks. Oh, is he going to be out for the round? Of 16 uh one day no he's not okay good so he'll be fit for the uh for Bayern Munich so I think I think we're gonna revert back to the to the 4-3-3 I think and then uh Messi is gonna play like an attacking mid right here and then Neymar is gonna play left wing and then right wing is going to be Leo Sané and then I'm gonna put one of those advanced instructions on Messi so that he doesn't come back I think it's counter target if we counter target Messi that means he won't track back he'll uh, he'll stay forward and then if we need to go more defensive I can drop De Jong back and make him a CDM and then we could also turn a wing back on which that will mean Leroy Sané and Neymar will track back and uh 
help defend. So I think that is that is the way moving forward, I think. It's so annoying. We have such a good team, but I feel like we should be playing better in our played games. And uh, we have to start because we have the round of 16 against Bayern Munich, a team that could probably win the Champions League in the next episode. So that'll be in the next episode, the first leg, and then we'll face Real Madrid as well. And the next episode after that, we will finish the round of 16, hopefully making it to the Champions League quarterfinals. So closer and closer to ending the series. But if you guys enjoyed, I would appreciate you dropping a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you all have a great day.